Hi folks, welcome back. This is Lynn with PFM Arts. Uh, welcome back to another Technique Tuesday. So we were riding back in the car and I was thinking about all these scrap papers that I have, like scrap papers that are from the dot matrix printer tear-offs and just other random scrap papers like these. And I was thinking, you know, what, what if we made bows with these? And then I remembered this kit that I bought at the thrift store. And I thought maybe we should, we could try this out together. I've never used this before. I literally just took it out of the box uh, and read that I needed to have half inch by, I'm going to use the, the medium template. There's three different sizes, the large, small, and then the medium. I decided to use the medium for whatever reason. And I need to have half inch by 72. So all the ribbon that I currently have, there's like, like gift giving ribbon, you know, like the plasticky one. Uh, all of that's three quarters of an inch and I actually wasn't going to do this. And then I said, you know what, what if, what if I did it out of paper? I was like, I could just make one continuous long paper thing. And then I pulled these, these were actually sitting on top of my, my paper hoard that I will eventually make handmade paper with. And I said, you know what, this is already in a strip pretty much. I mean, obviously there's some, some weak spots in here. You can see this one right here, but I was like, you know, what? let's try it. So, you know what, whatever. And this is actually a half of an inch. So, all right, whatever. So let's try this. Okay. So insert Brad short side down into the center of the template. This is the Brad that they gave me. Oh, I see. I was like, why does it just look like a tiny little sword? Okay, so the thing opens up. Okay, short side down. Bam, did it. All right, let's use, let's use this red color. It should be long enough. It's at 72 inches. That actually might not be long enough. Let me grab the blue. Yeah, I, I do have an entire trash bag full of stuff like this that I'm going to eventually, you know, grind down, I guess, pulp down. And and make like handmade paper. So it says that I'm supposed to pull it through this little loop here, and that I'm supposed to leave a three inch tail and then push this down there. I mean, that's probably more than three inches. I should probably get a ruler just to make sure. And like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. As per the norm, I have no idea what I'm doing. But I thought after this, we would go into another, all right, so that's like four inches. Three inches is like there. Um, go into another segment next week of what, how you could still make bows out of these paper scraps if you don't have this weird bow maker thing. And I just have to figure out how to do that. So I'll be, over the next week, I'll be trying to figure out how to do that. So hopefully when I show you guys, we'll, we'll, we'll have some better idea. Okay, three inch tail, puncture strip, and then loop around the opposite arm of the template. Like this, it looks like. Mm, no. No. Oh, my three inch tail should have been the other way. Okay. Pictures. Pictures. Do this. Okay, this, and then a three inch tail. Okay. I don't know if that's three inches. Let me put it here. I can always cut off extra. Okay. And then I'm going to go around here. Wouldn't this be awesome if this worked? And then we can actually like reuse some of these things. I don't want to pull too hard while I'm doing this because, oh, I'm just kind of following what's going on here. It's actually pretty easy. So I started at five. I did one. I'm going over to two. Um, yep, yeah, that lined up. And then now I'm on to three. I'm doing this loop around here. This is actually lining up perfectly. That's crazy. When would have that ever happened? Stoop. Right on there. Okay. And then what do I do with this last one? Do I do this too in here? No, I should probably read the directions. Um, until each arm has been wrapped at least twice. Oh, I got to keep going around. Okay. All right. So let's keep going around. Okay. So I will fast forward this at this point because this is going to get real boring.
Okay. All right. So I've gone around three times for each of these so far. And now it says to trim excess close to where the brad is. So luckily for me, here's a natural joint trimmed. And then it says it can't, it also came with these, uh, I guess it's like sticker, double sided sticker backer things. So it says to put one of these on here, but I'm assuming remove backer on one side of sticker. Okay. So remove backer on one side of sticker. I don't know that it matters which one's which. And honestly, I don't know how old this thing is. And, and obviously, I don't even know if this stuff is going to stick. But you and I both know that there are these wonderful things called double sided tape that you can use with this instead, or just regular old scotch tape, just clear tape. Okay, so I did that. Now what? Um, remove backer, secure the bow, through hole. Yep, did that. Open and fold down to secure in place. Okay, I'm actually kind of concerned about this now that I think about it. Like, how am I going to get this paper off? Oh, I should probably have put that in a different orientation because I've got this kind of in the way, uh, the mark where you, you peel the paper off, but it's there now. Okay. So turn template over and carefully remove the loops from each arm. Gently bend template arms down while removing so material doesn't rip. And then pull tail from slit. Okay, so I'm here on this picture. Okay. Oh, these do these do squish in. Actually, they do. All right. This is actually way easier than what I expected. Oh, let's let's skip that one. That's probably what they meant by pull tail from slit. Okay. Well, I don't know how to get that out of there. Maybe I just pull it up and it magically happens. Well, that looks dumb. All right, what else? There's got to be something else. Um, take tail and create a small loop into the center. Puncturing onto the brad. Okay, so this is supposed to be like my central loop thing. All right, well, my central loop thing is just going to be double wrapped because that's, that's how I did this. All right, I'll put so I'm getting this on this little center. Okay, so there we go. I don't, I'm not sure. I guess it will tell me. Okay. Yeah, but how does this stay in here? This isn't going to stay. Maybe I have to bend it. Yeah, I have to bend it down because otherwise that's just going to be a metal thing hanging out there. Like nobody wants that. Okay, so I'm just going to try to bend it with my fingers see if that works. Yeah, I actually did. All right, there we go. Okay, that looks dumb. Um, gently pull loop layers apart to separate and then rotate. Okay. Gently pull apart, separate, and rotate. All right, so here we are, just somewhat gently. Oh, no, my thing came on done. All right. I've got double-sided tape. It'll fix that. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, I see. I was not supposed to just... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Why didn't it tell me to do this part? I wonder... Maybe I just didn't read it. That's possible. Sometimes I don't read things. Okay. You know, I'll fix you in a minute. Okay, so I'm just pulling apart these things. And then I'm going to gently rotate this. I feel like I need to do this before I try to rotate anything. Put this guy in the middle. And then try to wrap this down and around again. Because I made it too long. Like that. And then squish it. And squish it down. Yeah, That might work. Okay, now I'm going to rotate it. How does this work? Oh, it actually does rotate. This is actually not not as awful as what I thought it was going to be. Okay. So that's like that. And then like this. And then do a fluff. 
Okay. All right. Like that's, that's not bad. I'm not really happy with this inside part right here. It seems like there's a lot of blank extra space, but I mean, look at this thing. This is basically made from trash. That is actually super cool. All right. That's it for this week. Next week, we're going to make these bows. I feel certain that we can do it without having this bow making kit. And just, just as a reminder, this is what the kit actually looked like. It's, it was from EK Tools. And I don't know if they even still se sell this. I was wondering if maybe I could find. Yeah. So 2015 is when it was copyrighted, I suppose. So, yeah, I don't know if this thing is actually still sold, but it's actually pretty cool. Like, I don't mind it. Um, my bows definitely do not look as pretty as the bows that are on this picture. And maybe, maybe I could have used that three quarter inch instead of the half inch, but this definitely says half inch. I don't know. Okay. Let's figure out something for next week. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.